Hi, I'm Matt, co-creator of Subterfuge. Subterfuge is a hacking tool designed to automatically dominate any network it is introduced to by taking advantage of the lack of accountability in the ARP protocol. Once Subterfuge has control of the network, the possibilities are endless. It can even transparently harvest the authentication credentials of everyone else connected to the network as they log into services like eBay, Amazon, or even Facebook. In layman's terms, the point of subterfuge is to make hacking the local area network so easy that router manufacturers like Belkin and Linksys have to make their products and therefore all of us more secure. When you connect your computer to the web, all of your traffic goes through a router. The router ensures that you get to stay connected to the internet. Unfortunately, most routers do a bad job of this because no security is built into the system that tells your computer where the router resides on the network. A hacker can masquerade as the router. This means that they have access to everything you do on the internet. Anything from private emails to your bank account password when you log in. Enter Subterfuge. This program attacks the network at the push of a button. Just like any hacker, it can force your computer to think that it is the router. This makes it easy for anyone to intercept anything that you do online. The subterfuge installation process is simple. Upon downloading the installer from our Google Code site, run tar-xvf against it to uncompress the package. Next, run python install.py-i. This will install subterfuge and all of its dependencies onto your system. From there, it is as simple as typing subterfuge to get it to run. Browse to local hosts to access the web GUI. Now that we have it installed, let's hack. Running Subterfuge is as simple as clicking on the Start button in the top right corner. By default, Subterfuge asks you if you would like it to guess at your network interfaces. In order to take control of the network, you have to know some things about it, like the default gateway, connected interface, and IP address of the router. Subterfuge is smart enough to figure this out for you in most situations. Click OK in order to start the attack. Subterfuge is now rolling. Let's see what we can mine out of this network. When you take control of a network by forcing all traffic through your machine, you gain a position called man in the middle. As you just saw from this position, harvesting user credentials with subterfuge is trivial, but we can do much more. Subterfuge is the man in the middle framework, and as such, it is modular in design. This means that you can use subterfuge for almost any LAN attack imaginable. For instance, we can inject arbitrary code into a victim's browsing session. Click on the HTTP code injection module to get started. Subterfuge acts like a web proxy to all of the victims. This means that we could deny them access to certain sites, redirect them to other sites, or as in this case, modify the code of the website that they're viewing on the fly. This module will even include Metasploit support to allow an attacker to inject an exploit into a legitimate website and gain full control of a victim's computer. Lastly, Subterfuge comes packaged with a simple way to control the finer aspects of your attack. So whether you are a professional penetration tester or a new user, you can get the configurability and control that you need out of the system. Controls like assisted and manual customization of your interface and gateway. When you are done using Subterfuge, cleanup is easy too. Simply click Purge Data to clear out the database. I'm Chris co-creator of Subterfuge. What sets Subterfuge apart from other tools is its ease of use and transparency to the other users on a network. No warnings or certificate errors are displayed on a victim's computer, even when using a secured site, and credentials are gathered and displayed in an easy-to-understand way. Once again, the purpose of the Subterfuge project is to raise awareness and to bring about a fix to the inherently trusting ARP protocol. Thanks for watching our brief introduction and overview of the Subterfuge framework.